Hey there, I'm Alex, and today we'll be exploring Mailer Lite's game-changing drag-and-drop editor. To do that, we're going to be building an email newsletter template using all the powerful features like inline text editing, custom blocks, and our brand new AI writing assistant. Let's dive right in. First, we'll navigate to the dashboard and kickstart our journey by clicking on Campaigns on the left navigation bar. Once there, click Create, and then Regular Campaign. Give your campaign a name, and then head down to the subject line. We've integrated a subject line generator that uses our AI writing assistant. We'll go further in depth with the assistant later, but for now, you can let it inspire you with subject lines that can help boost open rates and add a touch of flair to your emails. If you want to know more about the subject line generator, be sure to check out the video in the description below. If we head down to the next section, you'll see a field where you can enter the preheader text. There's a space to edit the preheader later within the editor, but for now, know that aside from the title, it has the second most influence on whether or not your subscribers will open the email. If you want to enter text here, you'll be able to see a preview of the text in the new Inbox Preview field on the right. Now, head down to Recipients, select who you want to receive this campaign, hit Save, and then hit Next. Under Email Design, hit Start from Scratch to be taken to our drag and drop editor. Now we're in the editor, which is divided into three key areas. The Blocks sidebar, where we have a toolbox of elements to play with. You can see the blocks are sorted by category for easy access. The middle section is our canvas for creating the email layout, where all of our blocks will go. And the right sidebar is our control panel for template and block settings. This is where you can adjust both individual and global settings for the styling within this template so that you don't go block by block adjusting styling. So with that, let's start crafting an email. The drag and drop editor is essentially an email comprised of a series of blocks. The blocks section on the left is organized in the same format of a typical newsletter email, starting with your top navigation, hero images, section dividers, text elements, and content like articles, images, calls to action, etc. Dive deeper, and you'll find our special section. This is where you can discover blocks designed for surveys, quizzes, and much more. This category is where you'll find excellent ways to stir engagement and gain valuable insights about your audience, along with other tools that will help make your emails pop. Let's see how we can use different blocks to make our newsletter really shine. Starting from the top, we have our preheader block. This block has a neat feature that adds a view in browser link to your email. Click on it to edit in the right sidebar. The preheader allows you to give readers a summary of your email without having to open it, or a call to action for the contents they'll find inside. You can uncheck include an email body if you don't want that text to show up in the actual email. This can be a fun way to engage with your audience before they open the email and hopefully increase open rates. Note that you can hide the preheader block, but you cannot outright delete it. Let's say you want to create a customized blog segment in your email. Click into the blog and RSS category and drag your chosen block to the middle section. If you click into the block, you can see the different ways that you can edit it, from the displayed copy to the text and image layout. If you want to include a link to a video, simply drag this from the elements category into the middle section. Click into the block, add your video link, and hit enter. Videos can display a static or animated image, and if your email recipients want to watch the full video, they'll need to click through. When we hover over a block, an array of editing features pops up. Let's go over them. First, we have delete a block. Let's say you've added a block, but you're not quite happy with how it looks. Click this button, and it's gone in a snap. Your edits are saved in real time, so if you decide later that you actually want the block back, head over to the clock at the top Click Undo on the change that you want back, and it'll come right back like it was never gone. Next, we have the Duplicate function. If you find a block you love and want to reuse, no need to start from scratch. Just hit Duplicate, and you'll have an exact copy ready to be customized. Then, we have Dynamic Content. It allows you to personalize what different audiences see. Click here, and you can set specific blocks to only appear for chosen audiences. For example, Let's say you want to include an element that's only visible to paid subscribers. You can select which group can see it so that when it's sent to your list, it'll only appear to those paid subscribers. It's not limited to paid versus unpaid either. You can specify conditions like geolocation, whether they've opened certain emails, or are part of another group or segment. It's a powerful tool for custom tailoring your newsletters. Next, 
the all important edit button. Hovering over a block brings up the edit button, but our drag and drop editor also features inline editing. Simply click into the block and you can edit text right there. In addition, you'll see an array of familiar formatting options like text size, bold, italics, add a hyperlink, alignment, text color, and most recently, our brilliant AI writing assistant. We'll talk more about that later in the video. One thing to note is that when you click the edit button, you'll also open up block specific settings in the right sidebar. These settings can go beyond text formatting and are unique to each block, so it's a good idea to check the right sidebar for further customization. Next to that is a button to save the block as a template. Remember that custom blog post we created earlier? If you want to include this design in future emails, click on this button to save it. You can retrieve it in future templates by going over to the Saved Blocks category in the left sidebar and dragging it into the middle section. You can use the up or down arrows here to move a block up or down in your email design. And finally, our handy six dot grip. Click and hold these dots to move your block wherever you want in your template. As you drag it, you'll see a space open up where it will fill within the email design. If you ever find yourself stuck trying to find the right words, let our AI writing assistant step in to help jumpstart your creativity. And here's how you can create using this nifty tool. Choose any text block and highlight it. From there, you'll see the usual formatting options along with our AI writing assistant. Select it and you'll enter a unique space. Here, you can prompt the assistant with your ideas, direct whether it should use a natural, catchy, professional, or persuasive tone, whether it's brainstorming an engaging title, a short or long paragraph, or a compelling call to action, and watch as it churns out fresh and inspired text. Think of it as your virtual co-writer, sparking ideas and crafting text that you may not have thought of. To learn even more about how to thrive with our AI assistant, be sure to check out our knowledge base article on how to write effective prompts to use with the AI writing assistant. You can find the link to this article in the description below. As we get to the bottom of the email template, let's not forget the footer. It's crucial for including an unsubscribe link and potentially a link to your audience's preference center. The preference center allows subscribers to specify what kind of messages they want to receive from you. If you want to learn more about how to set this up, check out the video linked in the description below. You can also keep your social links here so that your audience always knows they have other ways to connect with you. When you click into the footer block, you'll see options to customize your social media links appear in the right sidebar. It's important to know that if your email does not include a footer block and unsubscribe link, the campaign cannot be sent. Now going back to the top of our email, let's take a look at the top navigation bar. These are the four buttons at the top of the editor. From here, we can track edits saved in real time, save our email as a template, preview and test our work, and more. When we're happy with our design, we'll hit Done Editing. But if you're completely unhappy with the design, you can hit Remove Content Blocks from the Actions button. Be careful though, this is one action that you can't recover from your recent changes. And with that, we've built an email newsletter template using MailerLite's new drag and drop editor. Remember, practice makes perfect. So play around with it, get familiar with all of the new features and blocks, and then in no time, you'll be crafting emails like a pro. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Remember to like and subscribe, and then I will see you in the next video.